Hi, Tim here on part five on building a website uh, in Notepad++ in 2019. Uh, in this part, I'm going to um, make it so that I only have to have one header, footer, and uh, each sidebar, one file for each of those um, that I can use throughout the website. I'm going to do that with PHP. I had mentioned in the previous video we're going to use uh, JavaScript. I meant jQuery. Um, but I, I thought about it, and I think PHP is a better route to go. Um, so if you see, I have this line here. It says PHP include assets slash header dot HTML. And then I close out the PHP tag. And I've saved this index file as a PHP file. Uh, and I switched it from HTML. Now, to get this to run on a local host, you're going to need to have some kind of um, server running on your computer. A uh, free one you can use is Examp and um, or Zamp, and I'm just going to start. That's where it says Apache. Just start there. Okay. I've also moved this folder, the Unkert Math folder. Uh, let's see where have I moved it? Um, into into my HT Docs in Examp. Okay. So I've moved it in here. Um, and then when I open it, I'm going to open my browser here for a moment. Uh, and I'm going to type localhost slash unkertmath.com. Okay. No, no, that's not what I want, sorry. Unkertmath slash index.php. We're not online yet. Okay, so this is my home page that I was working on before. I'm having the header is being pulled in already. The footer is not. Uh, so let's check that out. Let's take care of that. Um, to do that, uh, I'm going to have to make a footer file. So this is my my footer uh, code here in the index file. So let's delete that. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. Let me just, sorry. Close that, and I want to save the file. No, I want to reopen it. And I'm going to go up. Okay, I want to reopen this. <laughs> I want to just delete it all. I'm going to hit uh, Control X. Okay, Control X, and then uh, I'm going to make a new file. And I'm going to save this file as. We're going to save it in the assets folder. We're going to call this footer. Uh, and I'm going to save it as uh, footer.php because I want to do one thing with that. So I'm going to save it as footer.php. I'm going to copy the code in there. Hit, uh, just get my tabbing the way I like it. And then And I'll save it. Okay, I'm gonna hit Control Save. Um, and later, I may put in something here where it has the current year, so I don't have to keep updating it. But okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my index file here. Now you'll see that uh, if I were to save the index file like now, and then go here and refresh, this, let's see what's gonna happen. No. Uh, close up the body tag here. Oh, we haven't saved it, that's why. And uh, close out the HTML. Hit save. Okay, and now we're going to refresh. And let me see which file I'm saving. Hold on one sec. Let me reopen it. I opened the wrong index file. So I'm opening an Unkert Math. I have to go to this PC, uh, my C folder, I'm saving the wrong one. Uh, I have to go to XAMP, HDDocs, then Unkert Math, then my index, I'm gonna open that. Uh, sorry, bear with me, bear with me. Um, again, I'm gonna go to this PC, go here, go to XAMP, HDDocs, um, Unkert math, and again, this is a PHP file, so let me go down here. 
Okay, so now I'm going to open this. See, I see it still have the footer. Let's take this out. Close out the body. And close out the HTML. Hit control save. Now, okay. Now it goes away. The footer goes away. Okay, so we don't have a footer, but we want that back. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a simple PHP tag. And then we're going to say include. And then we're going to say we're going to go to the folder assets slash footer dot PHP semicolon uh, close out the PHP tag with a question mark and a right arrow hit control save okay and then uh, and we get a warning okay and there's a problem with my code. Sec. Maybe throw it up in there. Nope. And let's see where I saved this. Now, uh, that's because I saved it in the assets folder in the wrong, in Uncurt Math. So I have to go again. I have to go to this PC. Um, I have to go down and save it in the right folder. It's saying it doesn't have one, uh, it doesn't have it. So let's see, find hdocs. Okay, Anchor math, assets, save it as footer.php. And let's try it again. Okay, and there's my footer, all right? So I gotta make sure I'm saving this in the right place, so please check that. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing, except actually what we're gonna do now is we're gonna um, switch something in the footer code and, and show you how it uh, changes. So I'll say, um, right here, say, I, I just switched something in the footer. Okay. Okay. Here, I go. here, I just switched something in the footer. Okay. So you get that on the right-hand side. Um, now, what I can do is I can change that for each of these files. So let me open file and I'm going to go up and I'm going to make sure I'm in, the, I'm in HDDocs. Okay, so now I want to go, let's go to calculus. I'm going to open this. I'm going to save it as uh, not an HTML file, but a PHP file. Okay, and we'll save that. Okay. And now, well, now let's let's check something. So we'll go here. Now, if I go to here, it's going to the HTML. So I'll go down and look at the footer, and it still says something on the right. Okay. So what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to go down here to where the footer is, down to the bottom here. And I'm going to take out this footer, and I'm going to say, do my uh, left arrow, question mark, PHP, then include uh, footer. P Oops. I got to do assets slash footer dot PHP, because that's where the file is located. And then question mark that. Um, I also want to close out the body here, which I haven't done on these files, so getting a little sloppy. Uh, Close the HTML. Okay. So now, again, this is the same because it's the .html file. So if I type PHP, okay, go down to the bottom, and we've got a warning, and there's a reason why. And the reason is because we have to do the dot dot slash. So now we have to change the pathway like we did in the previous video. We're going to hit control save. We're going to go up here. Refresh, the warning goes away, and we see I just switched something, and the footer is appearing here. Okay. Um, now, with my index page, I would have to change the links as well for that. Um, this is not going to go up to index.html uh, because there is no index.html anymore. So I have to change my header, and I have to include it on this file. 
Um, so I'm also going to include the header. And let's see, it's going to be right here. So I'm going to take this out. Do the left arrow, question mark, PHP, uh, include header. And this is an HTML file. And then we'll do the question mark and the right arrow to close it out. And control save. Now on my header.html, I'm going to change these to index.php. Probably going to I'm going to obviously do contact.php, even though I haven't created those pages yet. Again, this is a work in progress. And about.php. I'm going to hit control and save. And again, I got a warning. Why did I get the warning? Well, can you guess? It's because I didn't include, well, I didn't include a couple things. When I have to do the dot dot slash and then assets for the folder. So there were two reasons. So let's see how many people got that. Now we hit it. We got the header back. We go home, and it's still sending me to index.html, and I might not have saved the correct header file. Let's close this out. It's open. We're going to go to this PC. A lot of issues you might encounter are if you um, don't have the right pathway, Okay, so we're going to go into Assets, open the header, let's open it. Uh, no. Sorry, this is a little bit of a pain when you do this because um, I got to make sure that the extension is. No. Uh, if I open it too fast, it tries to open it as a PHP file now. I have to switch that. Um, so go here, assets, header, make sure this is HTML. This one is an HTML. I'll probably end up changing it to all PHP. Uh, so you might see that for the next video. So, But right now I have it as that. That's open. Okay, so we still have this HTML. So we're going to switch these all to PHP. And then save it. Save, okay. And one more issue we may have with this. Can you guess what it's going to be? Why might this still not work? Well, have you thought about it? Pause the video, take a moment, think about it. Have you paused the video and figured it out? Well, obviously, these are not going to go the right pathway. I would have to do dot, dot, slash, but here's the issue. Um this would not work for the regular header on on the if i use this on the index page which was up a folder it would try and go up another folder and look for it so we're actually going to have to do something where i'm going to copy this code here so control c i'm going to create a new file uh, i'm going to save this file as save it uh, make sure I'm in the right place. Xamp. Sorry. Uh, let's go up one more. Okay. HD docs. HD docs. Go to Unkert Math. Uh, go to Assets. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save it this time as a PHP because I might as well. Um, it's PHP and actually I'll just call this header 2. Okay. All right. So this is going to be header2.php. I'm going to copy my code. Okay. Except this time I'm going to go dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash. Okay, hit Control S, Control S to save it, and here I'm just going to put header two and save it. So on these files, I'll have a uh, different header file. Uh, so I will have to have a couple header files depending on the sub subfolder, maybe three if I go to another folder. But um, you're only going to have maybe three uh, three um, 
header files throughout your website. The sidebar files, um, you may need to create a few of those as well. The footer, uh, it depends. I may also have to create a couple if I have links in the top part of the footer. If it's just a copyright, I'd probably just have to have one. All right, so let's check this out and make sure this is working. So I'm in Calculus 1, Semester 1. We're going to refresh. Uh, and, oh, yes. Okay, so one thing. I save this as PHP. So I'm going to hit Control-Save. And you'll see the errors. They'll let you know. Okay, so this is coming up. Will I go back home? I'm going back home. So that's the part of the process for switching um, uh Switching to uh, PHP to have a header, footer, and sidebar files, and I'm, I'm going to create those with the PHP include function, so I can um, only have a few files that I have to switch when I make changes to the header and footer and sidebars throughout my entire website, and that makes it a lot easier. So I can make a change, uh, maybe a change to two files for my header. If I want to change my header and change the menu, like for instance. If I want to go here and go to, let's say, header 2, and I'm going to add, well, I want a page specifically uh, for calculus, calculus.php, and I'm just going to say calculus here, and then I'm going to close that out, hit control save, I'm going to copy this, control C, copy, Put this in my header.html file, control V, uh, and then save it. Okay, and then I'm going to refresh. We've got the calculus page that shows up. Um, if I click here off the index, so let me just work with this first one. I want this to be .php. I'm going to have to hit control save. Uh, make sure I'm doing it on both the indexes because I've got the folder saved in a couple places. .php. Um, okay, so now I refresh it here. It goes into this. It also has the calculus that pulls up. It pulls it right in by changing that header file. So it's a really great thing. Um, and let's pretend I started this website in, I don't know, 2012. Okay, I'm going to go over here, my footer file. Change this to 2012. Hit control save. I'm going to refresh this page. And look, 2012. Let's go and check out the home page. 2012. It's going to switch throughout my entire website. So by using a little bit of PHP and this one include function, you can really get your website so it's uh, sort of like a content management system in a way. Um, not in that you're storing content in a database or anything like that, but like when you're using WordPress, one of the great advantages of it is if you change uh, your menu or, or your sidebar, it changes throughout your entire website. Well, you can do that with just the PHP include function. You don't need to use WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, or something along those lines. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Sorry for the little mistakes I made along the way. That's part of the process. Um, uh, as you go, you... You know, some of these people, they script these videos very well. Uh, I'm not one of those. I kind of just go raw design. You'll see me make mistakes along the way. And I think that's part of the learning process. It's great for you to see the mistakes that I'm making um, because then you can see, oh, when I get that error, what is it caused by? Oh, he made the same error. Uh, I have to do this. So uh, anyways, I hope this was helpful. Um, as we continue, next video, I'm going to look into mobile optimizing this site uh, and then after that, we're eventually going to want to put it online. But if you look at it now, this is not mobile optimized. So we have to do some stuff with the CSS there to get this looking a lot better, uh, to work on the menu and that sort of thing. That'll be the next video. But right now, you can have your website. Um, so it's changing one or two files for the header and the footer and the sidebars. And uh, it carries the changes throughout the site. So thank you and stay tuned for the next one.